before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, then turn that notification button on right now. WWE superstars are some of the most popular athletes in the world. Not only do millions of fans watch them every single week on their TV, but they also get opportunities to work in movies, star in hit reality shows, and enjoy perks that very few people get to experience in their lives. Being a WWE star may be difficult with all the travel and injuries negatively affecting their personal lives, but the opportunities outweigh the cons, and the stars become larger than life personalities, becoming role models for the kids around the world. With that being said, not everyone enjoys being in the spotlight. Pro wrestlers today have multiple options they can choose from. They can go to Impact Wrestling to work a lighter schedule or work for Ring of Honor or New Japan Pro Wrestling. Former WWE stars have found it easier to work on the independent circuit and have complete control over their schedule. However, the possibility of returning to the WWE and reliving their glory days is a prospect not many can resist. My name is John and in this video we take a look at 10 wrestlers who have at one point or another hinted towards returning to the WWE. The Gorgeous Diva initially captured the imagination of the fans during the Extreme Exposed segments on ECW, before she made her way to the main roster. Kelly Kelly was never a gifted wrestler, but she managed to climb the proverbial ladder in the company, winning the Divas title. However, it was also huge during that time when the quality of women's wrestling was a subject of controversy as the fans didn't believe the Divas had enough experience or in-ring skills to be in the WWE. While Kelly Kelly left the WWE to pursue her modeling career, she has since spoken out about her interest in returning to the company. Kelly was also a part of the historic Women's Royal Rumble match earlier this year, and the superstar looked better than ever, before being eliminated by Nia Jax. Kelly isn't the most talented star to walk through the curtains, but she could add some sparkle to the women's division. The masterpiece didn't live up to the expectations during his first run with WWE. Putting people in the master lock, Masters was pushed heavily by the company as he found himself competing for the world championships. After a couple of wellness policy violations, Chris Masters would be released from the organization, only for the WWE to give him a second chance two years later. Chris Masters would languish in the lower mid card upon his return It was once again let go by the company in 2011 after which he wrestled on the indies and later signed up with Impact Wrestling. While WWE tries to be politically correct these days, not too long ago they had many outrageous gimmicks and characters in the company. Two of the many stereotypical characters were JTG and Shad, known together as Crime Time. The duo were a hit with the fans, with the universe taking a liking to their antics, and it looked like WWE's efforts would pay off with the tag team. However, the two stars didn't stick around for too long in the company. The tag team got a shot of redemption when they were re-signed by the promotion, but once again, Shad and JTG couldn't make the most of their opportunity. While they have since competed on the independent scene, they continue to harbor hopes of going back to the company and entertaining the universe once more. However, the company has moved on, and a number of promising tag teams have cropped up, rendering crime time merely as a memory. The former WWE Women's Champion decided to retire from pro wrestling because of nagging injuries and the fact that she had to start a new life with her husband Undertaker, Michelle McCool found herself competing for titles when it was revealed that she had started dating the legendary star, and Michelle became the first ever WWE Divas Champion. She would also unify the WWE Women's Championship with the Divas title, thus cementing her legacy as the only WWE Unified Divas Champion. While Michelle has continued to show her husband's support by showing up at events, she largely remained out of the public eye. However, more recently, Michelle spoke about returning to the company and competing for the first time in seven years earlier this year during the first ever Women's Royal Rumble. Considering the fact that Michelle is still in outstanding shape, WWE might want to bring back McCool to strengthen the women's division. Melina Perez was destined to become a champion in the WWE. She had the looks, the skills, and the ability to become a bona fide superstar, but her backstage issues took center stage, with her private life put under the microscope by the wrestling fans and dirt sheets. Melina is a multiple time women's champion and divas champion, and was showered with praises by the likes of Bret Hart, who called her one of the best wrestlers in the world, 
when she was competing in the WWE. However, Melina was released from her contract in 2011, and while she competed briefly on the independent circuit, she stayed away from the wrestling business for the next few years. The rumblings about Melina's relationship with Batista took away from the focus from what she had achieved in the ring, but the former WWE Women's Champion has been competing on the independent circuit once again, and recently spoke about her ambition to attract WWE's attention, and thereby return to the promotion that put the spotlight on her a decade ago. Batista has always been a character of controversy in pro wrestling. From his romances with Molina to his backstage issues with the likes of Booker T, the star has remained a polarizing character. However, one thing no one can doubt about Batista is his love for the wrestling business and his willingness to do whatever it takes to make the product more entertaining for the fans. His last run in WWE wasn't as memorable, with the fans turning on the star for taking the spotlight away from Daniel Bryan. While Batista has repeatedly turned down WWE's offers for making part-time appearances, the former WWE Champion remains keen on returning to the company for one final run. Considering the fact that Batista is now a big name in Hollywood, WWE will probably have to come up with an enticing enough offer for the former Champion to return to the organization. Nikki Bella's ascension to the top of the Divas division left the fans scratching their heads, but when it was revealed that she was dating WWE's flag bearer, it all started to make sense. However, to her credit, Nikki worked hard to hone her in-ring skills and soon became one of the standout performers in the division. Unfortunately, a serious neck injury left Nikki at a crossroad, and the WWE fans were unsure of seeing Nikki Bella in a WWE ring again. However, the former Divas Champion made a dramatic comeback but has since decided to focus on projects outside the confines of a wrestling ring. Nikki hasn't hidden her willingness to return to WWE programming and has left the door open for a comeback down the road. With Nikki and Cena getting back together, it is only a matter of time before Nikki Bella returns to in-ring competition. The big guy and WWE didn't part ways on the best of terms, and since his release, Ryback has done just about everything to throw WWE under the bus. Whether he was badmouthing WWE on his podcast, or doing interviews where he voiced his displeasure about the ways he was booked, Ryback hasn't held anything back, which might make the fans believe that the former WWE star has no intention of going back to the company. However, Ryback is more than willing to put the past behind him and work with Vince McMahon and the WWE provided he is given assurances about what the company intends to do with him. It wasn't too long ago that Ryback became the flavor of the month, challenging CM Punk for the WWE title. With his stock plummeting afterwards, WWE decided to get behind different stars, which didn't go too well with the big guy. In the past, Vince has worked with stars he hasn't been on the best of terms with, and there is a good chance we will see Ryback in the WWE in the next year or two. The Master of the 619 is a former World Heavyweight Champion and also a former WWE Champion, albeit not holding onto that championship for a considerable period of time. For years, WWE used Ray to cater to the Hispanic fanbase, and when he left the company, there was really no one else that could fill his shoes. WWE unsuccessfully tried to make Alberto Del Rio and Sin Cara the next Rey Mysterio, but they haven't found anyone that could truly replace that star. While Rey has made a few sporadic appearances over the past couple of years, Mysterio, who has been plying his trade on the independent circuit, recently opened up about his interest in returning to the WWE, but to work a lighter schedule. With Rey getting older, he has expressed his desire to reach an agreement with the WWE that could see him working lesser dates than the other full-timers. Rey hasn't missed a beat, and WWE could really use Mysterio to propel the likes of Sin Cara and Kalisto in the promotion. A few days ago, WWE announced that Hulk Hogan would find himself in the WWE Hall of Fame once again. Hogan is currently on thin ice, and after getting the cold shoulder from the WWE over the past few years, the Hulkster is now once again a part of the family. While not everyone is thrilled about Hogan mending fences with the WWE, the former champion has been lobbying for years to return to the organization as a wrestler. WWE has repeatedly shot down the idea of bringing Hogan back as a competitor, but they might just reevaluate their stance on keeping Hogan away from the ring. Whether they use Hogan as a manager or book one last match for him, the possibilities are endless now that the Hulkster is back on good terms with the company. 
And these are 10 wrestlers that have hinted towards a WWE return. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more wrestling videos.